Welcome back everyone. I'm gonna help you guys fix wide barrel racing turns today. So stay tuned, cue the intro, get subscribed if you guys are wanting barrel racing tips, and let's get going. have a wide turn is basically how we're setting ourselves up to come up to the barrel so a lot of times when I see videos of people and they're saying they're having problems with wide turns basically they're just not setting their horse up to actually make the turn now I'm gonna come out here and kind of show you guys what it needs to look like where you need to be at but basically you need to give your horse enough room to actually be able to get around the barrel a lot of times people just shove their horse up into the barrel and they're like yeah turn it you'll be fine but in reality if you don't give them enough room they're not gonna actually be able to physically turn it because they're so big. They just need to be able to have room to make it around that barrel. So I'm gonna come out here and kind of show you guys what it needs to look like. So if I'm coming up here, I need to give my horse four feet from right here, from the barrel to right here, and then all the way around. So you want four feet completely all the way around this barrel. So I'm gonna make him just come around here and do just a perfect circle. And when I do this, basically I'm just giving my horse enough room at a walk or a trot or a lope to be able to get around this barrel and have enough room and not have a wide turn. Next thing we want to look at is body positioning. Now, a lot of times I simply see people having problems with wide turns and it's super easy to fix actually. It's pretty much just you need to change your body positioning up a little bit. So if you guys haven't watched the video yet, if you click the pop tag right here, this will show you my full video on body positioning as well as drills to kind of get your horse to make sure they're making perfect circles and things like that. So you're gonna to wanna to check that video out, but I'm gonna come out here and explain to you guys what I want your body positioning to look like around the barrel. So I'm gonna keep it at a walk. So as I'm, as I'm coming around this barrel, I want to make sure that my head is up. So I'm going to start all the way from the side. I'm going to start all the way from the top and basically I'm going to look where I want to go. So if I'm turning this barrel, I'm going to keep my head up and I'm going to be looking where I want to finish going. Wherever you start looking, your horse is going to follow. Because if you notice, my shoulders, my hips, they all follow. So if I was going to turn and come this way, that my horse will just follow my head. Wherever my head's looking, my horse is gonna follow. And it goes for the same thing with your hands. A lot of times I notice people coming around the barrel and really wanting to get super handsy with their horse. Now, if you guys have been doing barrel racing long enough, you know that anytime you touch your reins during a run, you're gonna add on time onto the clock. And obviously that makes for a really slow run. So the less that you can ride with your hands and the more that you can ride with your body, meaning you're looking where you wanna go, you're really using your legs to help your horse around that barrel. If your horse is dropping in, you're using your inside leg. If your horse is wanting to kind of bow out, you're using your outside leg to push them in. So if you can really just ride with your body, be looking where you wanna go. If you notice, if I'm looking this way, my shoulders, my hips might follow, and everything is really just set in line to show my horse that, okay, I want you to turn this way. So. Keeping your eyes up, looking where you want to go, that's going to ex show them exactly where they need to be and help you fix that wide turn as well. So if you're looking down at the ground and you're not paying attention when you're going around that barrel, obviously your horse is going to want to bow out or go wide because you're not showing them where they need to actually be. So back to the hands thing. So you want to make sure that you're out of your horse's face. So I see a lot of people want to come around the barrel and their horse starts to go wide and instead of using their leg to get their hands, they get their reins clear out here and they're really just pulling on their horse's face hoping that they get over and in reality that's really just adding time onto the clock if you've ever watched someone do that it really just adds time onto the clock because your horse just wants to fight you at speed it's a ton easier to just ride with your body kick him around with your leg instead of having to be on their mouth and having their you know pulling their head around hoping that hoping for the best as you pull their head around so in reality we really just want you to be able to ride with your body ride with your hands and be able to really just have them listen in that way. 
So now as the training comes along, a lot of times there are horses that we get in or there are horses that we ride and they really do just make wide turns. It doesn't matter if we're setting them up, it doesn't matter if we're riding with our body positioning correctly or we're out of their face. A lot of times they just make a wide turn. So I'm gonna come over here and show you guys a drill that I do to help a horse be able to tighten that turn up. A lot of times when a horse is getting a wide turn, if we set them in there four feet at the barrel, they usually will get right there and usually it's on the back side that they want to make a really wide turn. So I'm going to kind of show you guys what I do. Basically, we're just going to walk up to this barrel and I'll explain it to you. So I'm going to walk up to this barrel and I'm going to really give him four feet all the way around this barrel. But when I get to this back side, I'm really going to make sure that I kick him over and really make him over finish this barrel, even to the point where I end right here. Ideally, I really just want him to kick him back out. And ideally, I just really want him to make sure that he finishes this turn. So I'm going to come right here, make him come all the way over here, and I'm going to make him finish this turn like that. And if you notice, yes, he sometimes, you know, they might get a little bit antsy. It's really just because I haven't warmed him up and he's a colt. But ideally, you really just want your horse to be able to really get themselves over and finish that barrel. Now, I would go through and I would walk this drill. I would trot this drill. I would lope the drill. And I'd really just make them finish every single barrel. And when you get to the end, obviously reward your horse. Tell them, good job, be done. But really get in their head that they have to finish every single side of that barrel even if you're just at a walk or even if you're just at a lope or even if you're just trotting around the pattern and that way you really help your horse to realize that they need to just finish that barrel even at speed so now i'm going to kick it up and kind of lope through and show you guys ideally what it needs to look like All right, next video that you guys are going to want to watch is the video right here. This is my top 10 bear racing tips for beginners. So click that video so you don't miss out. Get subscribed if you're wanting bear racing training tips, and I'll see you in that next video.